Uh, one more clip on voice acting today. Uh, this is actually a little bit about TF2 also and just how to think creatively or think with problem solving. Um, so we're out trying to cast a bunch of characters for half for TF2. And we know they have to be local actors because we're going to have to use them a lot. Um, there's nine characters. Um, we're going to keep going back to them. A couple do dual. Spy does um, uh, Pyro, for instance, because Pyro's just... Uh, and so uh, we're... We've got a limited set of actors. They're not the natural actors. It's not the CSGO thing that I did where I get the actors who have that accent. So how do we get that accent? Well, we thought about the characters a lot. We thought about uh, this also with the artists of like, these characters aren't Australian. So John Lurie, Patrick Lurie is not Australian as a sniper. He is what people in the 60s in the U.S. thought these nationalities were. And so that's why they kind of all play into this weird stereotype thing and run with it both visually and uh, with the language that they use, because we wanted to have live in that, right? We wanted to ground it in something. And so how do you ground it so you all have a common language to it? Is we said, okay, uh, what did the Americans think that of these nationalities back in the 60s when travel was or, you know, exotic and you'd never met an Australian before? So there you go. Uh, and the joke always at Valve was uh, the Australian actually sounds like a New Zealander because nobody knows the difference.